Damn, Dorn joined real fast. I didn't even have time to set up, turn the lights on, say what up. Welcome to Missing the Homies. This is the show where I bullshit with my homies. This is weird, uh, trying a new camera setup. Um, but yeah, here we go. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, wait, run the intro. Hello. Hello. What's up? You like how I always come in after a shower? Hey, at least I know you're clean. Every every episode post shower. Um That's okay. What I, time is it, dude? It is 12:51. It is almost 1. What time is it where you're at? 8:51. I'm in Greece currently, for everyone curious. Um, how is it, dude? I totally forgot you were in Greece. For some reason, I thought you were leaving. The not, you'll be back. The no, probably shouldn't say my full travel details. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'll bleep that. That's. <laughs> so his dad is gonna show up to my house and like steal all of my all my new Digimon merch. Oh my gosh! Did you get new stuff, <laughs> or just your? No, I almost bought some Kirby merch. And it turned out my parents were like, I bought a bag that cost a lot of money. And they were like, did you, did you barter it down? And I was like, was I supposed to? And they're like, yes. Wait. And so someone had some really cute Kirby merch that was like two of the dessert figurines that they released a year ago. Mm. And so I, I gave the lady an offer and she looked at me like, you dare try to barter me down on this. Did you do? Um, did you buy it in Greece or? No, I didn't buy it. Oh, oh, you didn't get it. She she gave me the look, and I was like, "All right, never mind. Have a good one." I just left. I was like, "But it was in Greece, or it was before you left?" In Greece. Oh, okay. That was not clear. That was not clear. The could be that was like two hours ago. Mm. Yo, speaking of things I just bought, look what I got. Boom. That's the one I was looking for. That's number one of uh, five. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, you're okay, like, so you got the last one? Did you have to order it online or did you find it? No, I found it uh, in Allen Park. I was in uh, okay. I was in Michigan this past weekend, and I... Have you ever been to Big Ben's in Allen Park? Yeah. I used to go. That's where I used to buy comics when when I was buying singles. Oh, really? Back I, in high I school. Love, yeah, that's where I bought all the Young Avengers. I love Big Ben's, and I didn't realize how much um, cool shit they had until I started buying comics. Um, but yeah, they had don't ever buy. Um, they they mark their stuff up like oh. anything collectible. They mark up all Pokemon cards, Magic cards, Yu Gi Oh. Even some of the comic back issues, they definitely mark up, especially the card game stuff. It's like, this isn't worth it. Dude, that comic was $7. When I got yeah. them here, I think each one was like 4 But that was the one that I needed, so I was like, oh, whatever, I'll, I'll spend $7. Um, yeah, $3 isn't much, but when it's like a trading card that's $100 and they selling it for $130, $150. Yeah, no. It's a difference. Sorry. No, I, I can't. I can't justify that. Um, I did get. They also know they don't really have like competition in the area, so yeah. I and look... then also there's like this whole collective of like support the local comic store, so they get away with it every time. And they have so so much like the the footprint of it. They have so much. Like half of the store is just collectibles and action figures, and then the other half is comics, and it. Like it's a big ass store, and they have a big selection of both of them. Yeah, oh, I'm so tired. Right, how's, how's, Greece? Exhausted. how's Greece so far? What have you guys done so far? Um, we went to the Acropolis, which is the thing you see in every postcard. Love that, love that you put this blur filter on, and it looks so shitty. <laughs> 
because it's it's not it's whatever. Okay, so you went to the Acropolis. Jeez. Check us off. So. Um. Yeah, and then we walked around the market, the bazaar. We went to this one cafe that Leah found. That basically is like. Was Greece known for any f- any f- food particularly? Finding the photo. Dun. Here's my selfies. If it wants to. Oh, sorry, it's too blurry. Oh my god, <laughs> it even blurs the selfie. That's so funny. It um, even blurs the selfie. Oh my god, now it's super dark. I just turned off the blur. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. <laughs> um work. There we go. So it's oh, like all flowers. Wrong way. And then that's the entrance. And then when you're inside, it's like there's like Oh, that's so a cool. All of flowers everywhere and the ceiling's like that. Holy shit. That's beautiful. And on the and selfies, so how many selfies can I take? I like your haircut, Doran. Like it looks good in those pictures. There we go. Oh, yeah. oh, it looks like a little butt. A butt. It's appearing. like all Instagram worthy. That's a heart from the other side. So, but yeah, what other what other backgrounds can I do? Um. Change virtual background. Let's see. I'm going to change mine, too. How do you do that? Reactions? No. Um, you, you go to the video thing, click the top arrow, and oh, then there's an option. Blur my background. Also change the video filter, so it's like... I don't want that. Choose virtual background. Oh, this is my... This is my... <laughs> this is for a different podcast. What's gonna happen now? I'm gonna t- TV. Oh wait, this what? I remember uh, we found a meet one happy. That was funny. Uh, uh, happy's fro. Oh, here we go. Um, this one was creepy. Do it, do it. Huh? Oh, this is perfect. We're talking about comics always. I can keep it like this. Which one's creepy? I'm uncomfortable. Huh? Are you a VTuber? Oh my god, this is gross. You're, this is your VTuber debut. Video. Phone. What's your name? What's your backstory? Um, I don't know. I literally can't even. That was that was so uncomfortable. <laughs> and if, I love how it freezes. Uh, but anyway, so um, so yeah, I didn't know you guys were in Greece yet, but that's lit. Did Mario go or no? Yeah, no, he's home. Oh. So no one can actually break in and steal my Digimon and stuff. Dude, I was so bummed. He's Mario, guarding it. Mario texted me uh, on Friday and was like, hey, I'm in Chicago. You want to grab dinner? And I was like, oh, I fucking would. Um, And I got hit up two other times for people. To text. Huh? I told him. To text you before. I don't know why he goes places and texts people the day of. Well, I wasn't gonna come to Michigan until Thursday. Thursday, I really decided um, that I was gonna, and I didn't. I mean, like, I didn't tell anybody. And I mean, why'd no, you go to Michigan? Just to go. Renee had a concert on Saturday, so. I just went. I wanted okay. to go one more time and hang out with, um, like, my grandma. And I saw Kiernan. I told him you missed him. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, but I did hang out with Kiernan. Okay, what you say? What did you say about me to Kiernan? Nothing. I didn't even. I didn't even bring you up. But uh, he did, did say did that he bring me up. <laughs> no, but he did say that uh, he wanted to do another party at Jeff's. So. When that happens, well, yep. I'll kick it again. Do it October. In October, 
We could do we could do a party do for, it for my birthday. October eighth is on the weekend. Throw me a party at Daddy Jeff's and say it's like a, a um speedo and bikini pool party or something. Oh my so God. Fuck it, eh? I I wonder if the pool's gonna be closed up. I don't know how. I don't know if it's heated or anything, but whatever. I could bring board games, dude. I board game for me, Daddy Jeffs. Dude, I almost bought. Um, actually, when I was with Kiernan, we went to a comic book shop and um board game shop in Detroit, and I almost yeah. bought Seven Wonders Duel. I didn't realize it was fucking, oh the two player one. Yeah, I didn't realize it was fucking forty seven dollars for just the two player version. I didn't realize how Bro, the, the normal work. game costs, especially really good and nice board games. Um, um, Seven Wonders Duel apparently is also like shockingly works really well. How how much um, was the regular? Uh, game? I brought a board game here on the sixty dollars. Oh my gosh. See, that's like that blows my mind. Sixty dollars makes sense for like a big game like that where you can play like what was it? Like four to how many It's three to seven players. Okay, so three to seven players for sixty dollars. That makes sense. A two player game for forty seven dollars is crazy. Um but I don't know. Well it's also like has the fame of seven wonders behind it. Literally, I saw Greek versions of Seven Wonders here. I didn't know that there was like multiple um like add-ons and stuff to it. It's like a it's pretty expansive. Looks cool. Um they're not they're not from my understanding. I'm probably wrong. I don't think they're expansions. I think they're different versions. Like I don't know how to describe it. Like different styles of the game like they just took the seven wonders world and idea and like did it completely different gotcha okay i did a like i saw armada and i was like oh i wondered that's probably like port cities or fucking pirate ships and shit um maybe i don't know what board game did you take um it's called it's it's like Walking, I think, is the name. It's a National Parks game. Let me look it up. Does Merrick play board games? That doesn't seem like his... his uh... Kind of. Mostly, like, I brought it for me, and I was like, no, I will play with it. It's called Parks. Uh, it's like a $40 game. Whenever you buy it, a portion of the money goes to National Parks. And the idea of it is, like, you have to, like, you have, like, a deck cards it's kind of complicated but you play as like hikers mm -hmm. and your goal is to collect as many points by the end and you collect points by taking photos on your hike and visiting parks and then there's like some bonus points also gotcha okay i have an actual question for you so yeah. i'm planning a game night and we have no games what is a good game First off, I don't know how many people I'm going to invite. Um, like, let's see, me, Renee, Grant, his girlfriend, Becca, Dylan. I'd say maybe like 10 people. What would be like a solid people. What would be like a solid game? Well, most board, most board games are out of the question because they're designed for like four to six people usually. Um, so Cards Against Humanity. If you're looking for like an actual like active board game that's not like some storytelling thing, right? I don't know. I ever since you came through and we oh, played seven oh, wonders. I know one. We 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 were playing it with the cousins, I descent. I descent? They should sell it. Yeah, they should sell it at places around there. Uh basically like there's some strategy to it or not depending on how you play, but it's like your Supreme Court justices. And there's some, you pull a card and it gives you an argument. You have to be either for or against it. And it'll be something like pineapples belong on pizza. Are you for or against it? You set a time for how long people have to argue the point, And then after that, you vote. The thing is, though, 
you're able to like you only get points if your side wins mm -hmm. and you're able to like manipulate the system if you get really smart with it like getting people to be on your side and just like collude votes um you can go ahead and if you know you're gonna lose you can play into that even more to make sure you do lose mm -hmm. and just like lie about your argument and so when you lose you can say i dissent and it makes everyone who's about to win lose points and you're the only one who gets points now uh, there's like different strategies in it okay it's I... a good it's a good game for like big groups okay I, i'm gonna i'm gonna look into it because i definitely want to figure something out because i really enjoyed playing seven wonders when you and colin came over and me and renee were talking about it yeah. like oh we should get some board games um i really want to play Catan. it's an addiction yeah and i don't think Catan's i want a classic i don't think i want to get into uh being addicted to board games with this gundam yeah. and comics oh wait actually, and it takes up space yeah and I'm running out of that. Look at my look at my fully built Gundam. Oh my god, the weapons and everything. The sword is what makes it. So sick. Um oh, I love it. And I think what I'm going to do um while while you're in Greece, I'm gonna have Colin pick up an episode, and we're gonna. I'm gonna start my second one, and see if Colin will build his with me. Cause I'm, I'm 100% positive he didn't build his. Oh, for sure. Um. Okay. This is in the back of my mind. I have to ask: Does Kiernan watch the podcast? No. Kiernan's too busy. Kiernan's in med school. <laughs> Kiernan, is, I, I don't think he even watched when we did our month. So. Oh, he's on the channel? Yeah, Kiernan. I should, I should watch. I should be like, does he mention me? <laughs> me, me and Kiernan talked. Man, if he two. watches this, if he watches this, he will cringe so hard. <laughs> Kiernan, I love Kiernan. Kiernan is my dog. Kieran, if you're watching this, I love you. He is so Yeah, same. Um he makes me laugh because when we when we hung out this weekend, um I was like, "Yo, like I don't have anything to do Saturday. Let's let's figure it out. Let's do something." He's like, "Okay, well Dally in the alley is going on. Let's go." So, we went downtown. We literally walked through it trying to find food. It was so loud. Both of us looked at each other. We're like, let's get the fuck out of here. And so we left. Uh, so me and Kiernan are both on that, like, antisocial, not trying to be outside uh, uh, around too many. that are too busy. Too loud, yeah. too many people. Um, yeah, that's just my Kiernan fact. Every episode, I'll give you a Kiernan fact. <laughs> yeah. Other Kiernan fact, he can't tie his shoes. <laughs> I don't know why it's still that's that's still very attractive to me. Oh my god! <laughs> and like he can't tie his shoes. It's so dweeby, and that that's just what makes me be like that. It's my type. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I hope Kieran doesn't watch these. That's okay. He never will. You know, I think it's so funny when people do watch these yeah. because I I don't know. I'm just at the expectation that you know, like the majority of people won't watch them. So when people reference something and say it to me, I'm like. Where do you know that from? I'm like, oh yeah, I I put it on the internet. You're one of the twelve. <laughs> the apostles. Um <laughs> So yeah. Do you wanna see the family? Yeah. Is everybody just sitting in the room? Oh my god. Yeah, you ready? They're all right there. Oh my god, that would be that would be No, I got a really good Airbnb and I have a room to myself. Oh, so you're not staying with all of them? No, we're in an Airbnb, but I have a, like a room. Mm. And then there's a room for the American Noah. There's a room for my parents. Makes sense. 
Who wants to say hi to Antonio on the podcast? You're going to be on YouTube if you're on this. Dad, do you want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi, Antonio. Hi, hey, Uncle. how are you? How are you, how you doing? Good, how are you? How are you enjoying Greece? Doing, have, having a good time. It looks They're beautiful. They're more adult now. So, I don't know, they're harder to handle or easy to handle? For what? I said they're older now. Yeah, you tell me. Are they easier or harder to handle? That's what I'm saying. Uh, kind of easier, but they're hard asses too. Where's hey. Eric? Okay, okay. Take me around. Continue on the tour. Take Mom, do you want to say hi to Antonio on YouTube? Let me say hi. She said, like, give me a second. Eric. Yo. Do you want to say hi to Antonio on YouTube? We're going to be on YouTube. Yeah, this is for the vlog. What up, yeah, dog? Uh, hey, hot. I'm going to send you uh, my invoice for this feature. So uh, <laughs> can, can I Noah, hope you got 500 on you for this can, one. Can Noah be on it? Yeah. Hey, I got to limit the amount of words I use because it's going to cost you. So let me know when you want to stop talking. Don't, you know, don't worry. It, it's all getting cut out. It, it's all getting cut out in the edit. Hi, Antonio. <laughs> hi, Auntie. Wait, wait. Really, darling? You said not yet on it. How Hi, are you? Good, how are you? How's enjoying my time? How is it? Doran showed me pictures. It looks beautiful. Yeah, been good. I'm like, what pictures? Self I, there were 12 yeah, selfies in this yeah, box. Yeah, Dor Doran showed me about 15 selfies of just yeah, the flowers. The, first, uh, the worst thing you do, Tony, Doran, take a picture because it's the same picture, but 30 of them. <laughs> One of them is better than the rest. I was gonna say you gotta have options. You gotta have options. We're back on the tour. Lilo, can 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 he be on the can he be on YouTube? Yeah. Do you want to show what you're building? He doesn't have a Gundam, but he's doing a Lego. What up, Noah? His age. That's why eight and older. What or is eight it? And old. Noah, what are yeah, you building? Don't about what you're building. Zeno. Zeno. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sick. Check oh. these out. You got oh Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda on one side. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Yo. He's a cool kid. That is, that is. Yeah, cool. man. What time is it there? It's uh, one o'clock. A little one. after one. What time is it? Or it's Oh, it's probably like eight. eight Nine fifteen, man. Oh, shoot. Uh, yo, Merrick, I actually meant I I meant to send yeah. you this picture of this place. Um, I was in Royal Oak the other day, and it was a, it's a vintage shop. It's, it's tight. I mean, it's it's Former vintage. I don't know what it's called. The I have their Instagram. It's like Freakazoid something vintage. Freakazoid. Yeah, Never I'll heard of it. I'll send it to you. They got some cool stuff. It's really cool stuff. There's a place out there called yeah. Former Vintage that's been like a staple for that kind of stuff, like high end. Uh, Streetwear or whatever, they open up a second location downtown Detroit. But the guy who runs it this is on YouTube. Yeah. 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 I don't care. But the guy who runs is kind of just like a douche. Just basically, like you know. Yeah. Hey, fuck that place. Hey, the beautiful part. This will be. I can cut it all out. <laughs> no, keep it in there. I hope he hears it one day. I hope this. You know, Good. Keep it in. I just get worried that somebody's gonna hear it down the line somehow. But you know what? I was actually watching a podcast the other day with um, is it Burke Krishner? So, do you know any pot like a comedian named Bert Krishner or something? Kirshner, yeah, he's yeah, famous. yeah. Two two bears. You don't want to yes, it was two, two bears. Cat. Uh, so him and somebody else were on there. Uh, Ta Tom Sergara, Sergara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Says, Bert, Bert and Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do the. They were on there. They literally talked about that place, former vintage. But they were that former vintage guy will never hear. It. I even went out of my way to like send it to get ready to send it to him, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> This guy's a douchebag, man. I ain't sending him this. I ain't gonna show him this. They talked about him for like two minutes on there. They're like, man, he had a great store downtown. I ended up buying some shoes and some shirts before my show. And I was like, bro, I should send this to the owner. He'd probably be lit about that. Like, Tom yeah. Segura and this guy calling him out on this car. And I was like, I ain't sending him nothing, bro. He could find that one day for himself. He's a, he's a dick. <laughs> we passed by a couple of shops uh, when me, when Dorn and Colin were here that were definitely your vibe. They were pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that's more from like this. Since I've been around this guy and we got a little one on the way, I don't really shop clothes like that hard anymore. That'd be Tomaz's thing though. What are you, what are you shopping now? Are you or or are you strictly candy? Yeah. You, you don't I, I hit uh Michaels, Meyer, and I get gilded plain black tees. 
stop showing? <laughs> okay. You need to stop showing Antonio. I mean, you need to stop showing Tomas ways that Chicago's livable to make a move there. Start showing him fashion stores because we know that's all he cares about. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been talking to him, and he's uh, he's I think he's having a hard time uh, adjusting to college. That, excuse me. Where, where are you going to my room? What? <laughs> what a nice little tour. Nice to see everybody. Sure. Um, he's a hard time. Why is he having a hard time? I think, you know, just adjusting, you know, like he's not used to having to figure out his schedule for himself. And I think he's overwhelmed with all the homework, all the different classes, having to fend for himself take care of himself but i don't know he'll figure oh, it out you mean he's having a hard time trying to find food for himself and doing laundry he's having a hard time wow. being being and being taking care of himself i think i don't know he seen... i loved it and that was my favorite part i was like i'm free i can do it all myself oh i i love it too i sort of like i think it's so funny that like you know my parents tried to scare me with it but like honestly it's so easy and it's even easier, like, f- getting to do it on your own schedule. Um, I'll never forget them forcing you not to go to Western. My gosh. Add it to the list of places that I was f- forced not to go. And on the top of that list was the Childish Gambino concert. <laughs> it's your throwback for the last episode, continuity. Still fucking pissed. Um yeah that's a that's it um that's all i got doran i'm gonna let you go because i'm sure you're tired i'm sure you're exhausted i'm so, I'm so tired yeah thanks for we i have, we have a cousin showing up in 10 minutes and i'm like oh and you're already talking about to... going out to eat i'm just like with what what energy Ooh, what time did you guys get in today or no we got in yesterday and I was awake for about 28 hours straight and passed out at 9 p.m. Oh. When they were out getting dinner, I was like, I'm going to stay. I'm too tired to walk. Yeah, so that's... I just like did a few little things and I passed out. Yeah. And I... then I woke up at 4 a.m. And so I'm like ready by 7 a.m. And I'm like, I cleaned up the place. Let's leave and start adventuring. I wake up my mom. And she starts telling me off, saying it's the first day we're sleeping in. And I'm like, this is the first time I've ever heard this on a family trip. And so we didn't get into the city till like noon. <laughs> that is a wild. And we planned a whole itinerary and it threw some things off. We didn't do the dinner that I planned, but that's fine. Hey, you got, I don't know how many more days. We won't, we won't dox you. Dox me, thanks. Um. Okay. It's well, okay to cure and dox me though. Oh my god, I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna send only this episode to Kieran. <laughs> no, um, then it'll be awkward. No, he'll never. Even and if I sent, even not if, in if I sent way. it to him, Kieran is so busy he would watch it weeks or months from now. Should I text him? Why would you text him? Why? Should I be like, hey, angry thought of you, you're Greek, right? <laughs> I don't know if he is. I don't think he is Greek. No, Kieran? Uh, I text him like, hey, how's your relationship going? Do not. I, you know, I hung out with, this has been, this has been a very Kieran-centric episode, but I hung out yeah. with Kieran and his girlfriend this past weekend, and she's awesome. Shout out, Sarah. I I'm for sure, without a doubt in my mind, she's probably an amazing person. I've never heard a bad thing about her. Yeah, she's lit. She was she was cool. Um, we were playing past the pigs, so. All right, All right Doran, I'm gonna let you go. I also have a bunch All of chores right. that I have to do since today's my first day back in the city, and I work tomorrow. See you. See you, Bobby. Peace. Enjoy. I don't know. I'll talk to you. <laughs> night. Okay. For afternoon. Good afternoon to me. Good night to you. And with that, we are. Oh, he hung up. I love that. <laughs>